Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to know what is Postman and how to get started with APIs. So first of all, uh, if you see the website of Postman, you need to sign up on the website to start using their app for free. But let's know what exactly is Postman. So as you can see, Postman is a collaboration platform for API development. So if it doesn't make sense, don't worry. Uh, okay, so first of all, uh, the various features of Postman are that it can be used as an API client where you can easily send REST, SOAP and GraphQL requests directly within the Postman app. You can also perform automated testing. Then you can use the documentation feature to generate and publish beautiful machine readable documents and make your API easier to cons consume by people. You can also monitor the health and performance of your APIs. And the, uh, one another thing is that you can create workspace and work together with your team and collaborate on in real time with the product. Now coming to the next stage. So, so it can be used by developers, testers and even for product management thing. If I scroll down below, you can see that, uh, yeah, why Postman? So first of all, it's free and easy to start. It supports all kinds of APIs and schemas. It's really extensible and it has a vast community support. So this is a very, very important thing whenever you start using something that there should be a community which can support you throughout okay so if you uh, so you have got what is like basic idea of postman what exactly is it so on top over here you can see there's a tab learning center so if i go to learning center you'll see that there are various things like explore the docs okay so we'll cover that later so design develop and collaborate on your api projects getting started send your first api request in postman in just a few clicks Okay, but uh, before this, you must be having the basic knowledge of APIs and the HTTP status codes and all the various kind of HTTP requests. So, uh, so first, if you don't have any idea of this, let's uh, check it out first. So there is a playlist of introduction to APIs on the Postman YouTube channel, which consists of only three videos which covers the introduction to APIs, how to use an API, and the, it, it explains the HTTP protocol. So this is the very first thing you should do if you are a complete beginner to APIs. So after you have covered these three videos, you should move to the next playlist in the Postman channel, which is the intro to Postman. So here you'll have the basic idea of sending a request, authorizing a request, writing API tests, then chaining requests and then running a collection. Don't worry, things might not make sense at the moment, but once you watch these videos, you will have a fair bit of understanding. So after you have done the basics of intro to Postman, you should also check one more playlist, which is the Postman how to playlist. In this playlist, you'll find the various common doubts which people use usually face such as how to use global variables in postman how to add tests and you can also use code snippets and using environments in postman and how to exactly use the postman collection runner so these are some of the things which you can find in this playlist so my recommendation is that you should cover these three playlists first of all after covering these three playlists you should come back to that learning center. And as you can see over here, it says get started. So if I click on get started, you'll come to this page. So sending your first API request. As you can see, it also explains the get, post, patch or put and delete request. So it has complete step-by-step -step guide on how and where to like send your first requests. Also, one more thing to mention here is that you might have already 
uh, understood how to send your first request through the help of this playlist as you can see sending a request so it has already explained you and you can get a clear idea by reading the documentation as well now coming to tests so you can read more about tests from the documentation how to write test scripts and then how to like uh, manage the execution order of scripts so even these things have been explained properly in the playlist and by reading this documentation you will have a complete knowledge about these things so that is why i prefer videos as well as documentation things now coming to a uh, community so if you visit this uh, visit forum so you can find uh, that there are a lot of categories so first of all you need to log into this so that you can uh, comment or write your own posts and seek help so get just getting started if you are a beginner you can check this out there are various topics which people share and uh, so yeah if you need any help you can go in this and you can post your queries and you will get responses quickly from the experts so this is what the power of a community is next the postman network if you go to the postman network tab you will find that uh, uh yeah just a minute so if you go to postman network so it basically consists of various templates and workspaces so you can interact with postman so templates basically are the things which you can use readily like the api the public apis and the various apis which somebody has already built so you can use in them inside postman itself and workspaces are basically you can collaborate together to form a, a group of people of like minded people and work on something together so this is the importance of network and communities now um, as you can see that i have already explained the videos things for the playlist so you should cover that as well and uh, um, i think uh, you should have a fair bit of idea about uh, what exactly is postman and how to uh, like get the basic knowledge of apis and http request response those are the basic things at least you should be doing that how to send a, the various kinds of request get post put and delete and how to run simple tests now uh, if you are wondering that uh, okay you have explained me all these things but uh, like how exactly will it help me as a developer or a tester so coming to that point like uh, let's say if you are a build if you are building a full stack project along with the team members of four and if two people are working on the front end and two people are working on the back end and suppose you are in the back end team now what usually people or like beginners do is that they wait for the front end team to build the sign up or the login pages and then they integrate it with the back end and then they test their back end apis through the front end sign up and sign in forms like filling all the uh, information in that form and then clicking on sign up and login so then then the requests come from the front end to the back end and then they check if their apis are actually working properly or not so for this the back end team is dependent on the front end team so this is uh, i think a waste of time for the back end developers that they rely on front end developers but here the postman uh, reduces your task so it tells you that you built your apis and i'll be there to help them execute so you just need to open the postman app and on that given url you need to send you can send various kind of uh, requests and test your apis accordingly and meanwhile the front end team can work parallelly so that they can improve upon their existing front end work and you need not rely upon the front end team so you can uh, directly uh, test your apis over here you can write manual tests you can uh, like see what kind of response you are getting from the apis which you have built on the back end and if necessary if any changes are need to be made you can make those changes accordingly so this was the very first use case which 
postman helped me as a developer while i was working along with my teammates in a hackathon so this was the beginning of postman for me and i really found it really really helpful so this was just a small use case which i uh, just explained to you there are many many other use cases as well and you'll get to know those things as you explore so i think i have covered everything in this video in the coming video i'll be um, guiding you about everything you should be knowing to become a postman student expert so hope you enjoyed this video do like it if you enjoy it and comment on this video and share it with your friends also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you